everybody, welcome back. Dr. Kristen Lloyd with Bariatric Mindset, author of Bariatric Mindset Success and really Cherie Gain. <laughs> this is video two in the Back on Track series. And um, last time we talked more about practicing awareness. And this time we're going to piggyback on that, but I want to talk to you about stress and sleep. Um, so when we talk about basics and mastering the basics and getting back on track with your basics, <clears throat> what we mean is protein first, right? Um, making sure that you're getting your vegetables, 64 ounces plus of water a day, getting in some movement, making sure that you're taking your supplements. And I tack on two other basics, which are sleep and stress. And that is because sleep and stress are the two biggest factors for weight regain. I've read quite a few studies that talk about sleep and stress. Now, why is that important, right? So when you're getting back on track or when you've been off track, um, I want you guys to also practice awareness with how much you're sleeping and how well you're sleeping and also looking at um, how stressed out you are. So I'm sure you've heard it over and over um, how stress can impact cortisol and glucose levels and things like that. However, and, and how stress can cause you to store fat. And the other thing is that stress can impact your sleep and stress can also impact your hunger hormones and stress can also cause you to emotionally eat if you're not aware of how you can regulate your emotions, if you are not uh, using any skills and tools for emotion regulation. That said, with sleep, with, when there is a lack of sleep or when someone is stressed and then not sleeping, well, what can happen is there have been quite a few studies to show that people who have um, sleep um, have less than adequate sleep. Um, and of course, everybody's heard the, oh, have eight hours a night. But what we're saying is less than um, six hours or less than five hours of sleep per night are at risk, at risk of eating up to 400 more calories per day. And this is because your brain can't tell if you're hungry um, or if you're trying to wake up. So you may, your body may be tired, you might be tired, but you might experience hunger um, because your body's like, hey, we need to wake up. So if you're working a typical eight to five, you didn't sleep well the night before, what can happen is three o'clock in the afternoon, you're, you're really hungry and looking for something to carry you through. And so it's really important that you, if you do need a sleep study or help with sleep, that you get in touch with your physician or any mental health practitioners that you might be working with um, to help you potentially with cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia or sleep. Um, it may be important that you um, get in touch with your doctor and ask for a sleep study um, if you haven't already had one, or that you ask for recommendations from your PCP um, or your physician on some additional help with sleep. So what are some things that we know? Sleep hygiene is very important, and some of the basics are you turn off your phone 30 minutes before bed, try to stay away from devices, right? Next to your bed, um, turn down the lights. What I have found is that I have a lot of clients who when they start reading before bed, they're out. So that may be something that works for you. Um, listening to some uh, meditation music might be good. Um, but really starting to wind down, dim the lights can be, can be good for sleep. Now, there are some people who have perpetual insomnia and there may be additional um, tools that are needed for that, right? But it is important to recognize that these are some behind the scenes type things that you may not realize, oh, I'm so hungry, oh, I'm so hungry. Well, how's your sleep? How's your sleep and are you potentially stress eating or emotionally eating because you're not sleeping well? Um, 
Furthermore, are you overstressed and you're struggling with sleep because you have anxiety because life is so stressful right now? So stress and sleep really go hand in hand. And so this is where I kind of come back to you with awareness and ask you, how might stress or sleep be impacting your life, impacting your hunger or your perception of hunger? And when it comes to getting back on track, you know, you can do the meal plans and do the meal prep and take those steps, but there may be some extraneous situations that are still impacting your ability to get back on track. So some other things to do to help with stress and sleep, move your body, right? Movement is for mental health. Um, so let's shift it. Let's use a mindset shift and shift away from seeing movement and exercise as a punishment <laughs> and rather do something light to move your body, to move around, to feel good because when you move your body, you release endorphins. I'm sure that you've heard that before. It really positively impacts your mood. You can feel better. And it's really, really awesome um, for regulating hormones and can help you to sleep better um, and can help to reduce stress levels. So <laughs> there's another tool that you can use. Move your body, move your body, move your body. And if you are um, unable to move because you have chronic illness or confined to a chair, please look up chair exercises because there are a ton of ways that you can move your body in a seated or even laying down position that will also help you to get the same benefits. So that's what I have for you in this mini training, this back on track series for video number two, is I really want you to take a look at sleep and stress and what's going on in those two areas and how it may be impacting your ability to get back on track. And remember, we're taking the blame game and we're, we're sticking that on the shelf right now because this is not the time to blame. It's just the time to look at what you can do, what's within your control and moving in that direction. So I'm rooting for you, cheering you on, um, sending you all a lot of love and come back and check out my next video. And we're going to talk more about taking steps to get back on track. See you soon. Bye.